Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Well, it has been a little over three years now since plans for the $440 million mixed-use development known as Electric Works was announced in Fort Wayne. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redman is in Allen County with an update on phase one of construction. The Fort Wayne metro area is one of the fastest growing cities in the Great Lakes region. Over the last decade, more than a billion dollars has been invested in the heart of downtown. And perhaps there's no bigger project than the historic revitalization of a place that once employed roughly half the city. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been put into general electric plants and equipment. It's taking this enormous, tremendous asset that was a historical part of our city and it's revitalizing it for, for our people today. And it's really exciting to this community to think about what all that can entail. There are um, any number of communities that would love to have buildings of this size, this scale, and this quality really ready for redevelopment like this. So there are certainly challenges, especially when you get into you know 100 and 125 year old historic brick buildings. Um, but the features and the benefits they offer, you just can't really get a lot of times in new construction. While the character it offers um, from the ceiling height and the windows and the natural light and just the quality of the construction, all of those things add up to a really unique um, kind of experience when everything's said and done. As you can see behind me, construction on Electric Works is underway. The first phase is expected to be complete in fall of 2022, and once completed, the estimated economic impact annually will be nearly $400 million, a big coup for Fort Wayne. Electric Works will be home to the region's very first food hall and public market. <laughs> Officially dubbed Union Street Market, it will feature over 20 vendors daily, as well as a year-round farmer's market. But perhaps most importantly, the new venue will also help address food deserts and access to healthy food options for surrounding neighborhoods. The well, Union Street Market will be a really unique and rich mix of refreshment and entertainment opportunities for people who work here, people who want to come and visit, people who live nearby to be able to walk. Really kind of modeled on the public market experience you find in large cities across the country. However, the first building scheduled to go live in August of 22 is a new STEAM high school that will give students the opportunity to experience project-based curriculum with on-site companies and entrepreneurs, almost mirroring the same kind of training that happened on that same GE campus nearly 100 years ago. Hundreds of thousands of training hours have been given to young men like these. So it'll be a STEAM school focused on high school uh, for grades 9 through 12, and the students here were really get a unique experience on site with businesses and organizations and entrepreneurial programs that they'll be able to really almost embed and do kind of project-based curriculum with. So it'll be a very exciting, unique model for not just Fort Wayne, not just Indiana, but for the country as a whole. And officials tell me once the entire three-phase Electric Works project is complete, it will quite literally and figuratively change the landscape of downtown Fort Wayne as we know it. And we've always seen Electric Works as part of broader downtown development, sort of integrative with a lot of things in other neighborhoods around us, lifting those neighborhoods up, helping them benefit from the development taking place downtown. We see it as kind of that central core where a lot of it's going to really help expand what people think of when they think of, of downtown Fort Wayne. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.